Okay, hello, um, I'm Clive Phillips. This is Dusty Gedge from the Green Infrastructure Consultancy, and he is the gentleman who's going to talk a little bit about the green roof that we are now standing on. Thank you. Okay, um, well, first and foremost, the green roof is part of actually what is known as a code to sustainable homes. It's about how the architect of the school can score really good points for sustainable urban design of a building, because the green roof is the ecology side of the codes for sustainable home. So the first thing about this roof is it's not a garden. This, gar this roof is actually a, a, a natural vegetation. It's an ecological landscape which is designed specifically for wildlife. So that can connect to things that you do in biology, which is about ecology, um, colonization, about habitats change, and it's also about the flowers, and the bugs and the bees that actually um, will be found on this and actually there's quite a few solitary bees. The other thing it connects to is also when we build buildings in the UK at the moment we're suffering from a lot of flash floods especially in cities and towns because climate change is making intense summer storms. When we get these intense summer storms the water from buildings and from roads goes into the drainage system and actually overloads itself. So You'll see here all these downpipes coming from the roof above are bringing the rainwater to be stored in the soils on the roof and therefore they're not necessarily, that water's not necessarily going straight away to the drainage system. And that helps reduce the likelihood of floods. If this was in a big city, like Mexico or Seoul or London, you've got lots of these green roofs. When we get heat waves, we actually get something called the urban heat island effect. And it's now documented from NASA and, and, and all the, the clever people at universities that more soil and vegetation in the city, i.e. on roofs, can help cool cities down and actually reduce the urban heat island effect. So that's, a, that's another benefit. It's also, we know that actually if you're in polluted cities, which most European cities are, and most mega cities in the world suffer from a lot of air pollution, the vegetation and soil can actually take out a lot of the, um, the airborne particles that are actually the cause of a lot of problems for like asthma and, and from, from other breathing disorders that humans living in cities can be affected by. So again, in a, in a big city context, these, 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 um, these green roofs can actually help. Now, this one was designed as a nature roof, but also in cities like Hong Kong, even in London, people don't actually have much uh, many places to go in terms of sitting in gardens so actually green roofs this could have been designed as a garden if it's say in Hong Kong or in in, um, in New York where there's a lot of garden roofs and that gives people the human ecology of this the job field gives the people access to actually comfortable environments where they can sit you've probably all got gardens at home but if you live in a 24-story tower block in Searle you don't have access to a garden so actually, this is becoming a really important thing in mega cities about how people can get access to nature on buildings.